Welcome to our video of top tourist attractions in Belgrade. Belgrade is the capital of the Southeast European country of Serbia. Its most significant landmark is the Biogradska Vrdava, an imposing fortress at the confluence of the Danube and the Sava rivers. The fort is a testament to the city's strategic importance to the Roman, Byzantine, Ottoman, Serbian, and Austrian empires, and it's now the site of several museums as well as Kalamagan and Vast Park. This video will take you on a tour through some of the most astonishing attractions that the city has to offer. From the magnificent natural beauty to the historical sites, there are a lot of must-see attractions that will make you more excited. Sit back and relax as we are ready to visit top tourist attractions of Belgrade. Don't forget to subscribe the channel to wait for upcoming traveling videos. Number 1. Belgrade Fortress On a tall ridge where the Danube and Sava rivers meet, Belgrade Fortress used to contain the entire city and has lived through 2,000 years of conflict. All of that bloodshed seems very distant when you see the young couples arm-in-arm in, arm in Kalamagdan Park, watching the sun go down over Zimmen. The fine perches on the ramparts and secluded cubby holes among the angular remnants of the anti-artillery bastions and ravelins built by the Ottomans in the early modern ages. There's history at every turn in the fortress, from the Roman well to the medieval gate of despot Stefan Lazarevic. But Pobednik, Victor, is the postcard monument, a statue wielding a sword and falcon atop a Doric column. This dates to 1928 and commemorates Serbia's defeat of the Ottoman and Austro-Hungarian Empire in World War I. Number 2. Church of Stisava The largest Orthodox church in the Balkan region and the second largest in the world, Stisava is an ever-present monument in Serbia's capital. High on the Vrekar Plateau, you can see the church's white granite and marble walls from any approach to Belgrade, while the 50 bells that sound noon ring out across the city. The temple is built on the site where the Ottoman Grand Vizier Sinan Pasha burned Sava's relics after his icon had graced flags during a Serbian uprising in 1594. Construction began in 1935, 340 years after that event, and ended in 1989. The biggest challenge was raising the central dome, all 4,000 tons of which was assembled on the ground and hoisted into place. Number 3. Nez Bihalova Street Extending diagonally through Stari Grad from the fortress to Republic Square, Nez Mihailova is a pedestrianized street and somewhere for Belgradians to shop and go out. On what is one of the most expensive streets in the city per square meter, Nez Mihailova has upmarket boutiques and international high street brands like Sephora, Zara, and Gap. These are joined by scores of restaurants and bars, so if you come almost any time of day or night and you'll encounter throngs of shoppers, couples, or revelers. And towards the fortress, the way is lined with eye-catching rows of stucco neoclassical mansions with coins and cornices. Number 4. Gardos Tower In the oldest part of Zeman, a monument from the days of the Austro-Hungarian Empire is lifted over the right bank of the Danube. The Gardos Tower is also known as the Millennium Tower, as it was built in 1896 to celebrate 1,000 years of Hungarian settlement on the Pannonian Plain. With an eclecticist design, it was constructed over the ruins of a medieval fortress and was one of several big projects around what was then Hungary to mark that anniversary. Inside is a small exhibition about the storied history of Zeman and Gardos, while you can head to the top for a supreme view of the Danube and the confluence. Number 5. Avala Tower This communications tower, the tallest structure in the Balkans, is an easy drive from Belgrade. You could also catch the bus from Vozdovek Banjica or the tourist shuttle which departs at intervals on weekends from Nikola Pasic Square. Crowning Mount Avala, it's another symbol for Belgrade and is a monument with a checkered past. The tower was completed in 1965 but raised during the NATO bombing of Belgrade in 1999. The four-year reconstruction was finished in 2010 and for a couple of hundred diner, you can catch the elevator to the observation deck 135 meters up and with a panoramic cafe. Number 6. Ruzica Church Against the northeast walls of the Belgrade Fortress sits the oldest church in the city. The exact origins of the building are unknown, except that its history is a litany of demolitions and rebuilds. The earliest mention is from the 1400s, but it was duly pulled down after the Ottoman Empire conquered Belgrade in 1521. The current building is from the 19th century, requiring a restoration after World War I and integrates walls from the fort's old gunpowder magazine. The facade is clad with ivy, and the interior has some peculiar chandeliers made from First World War bayonet blades and shell casings. Number 7. Republic Square At the southern end of Nez, Mihailova is Republic Square, with some of the city's most important landmarks and a business district where Belgrade is at its most dynamic. More than 20 trolleybus and bus lines converge at this one place, so it's the meetup of choice for many Belgradians. 
The Serbian National Theater and National Museum are here, as is the Prince Mihailo Monument. Designed by the Italian sculptor Enrico Pazzi, this statue is of Mihailo Obrnovic, Prince of Serbia twice in the mid-1800s and a key figure in the Balkans' independence from the Ottoman Empire. Number 8. National Assembly of Serbia The seat of Serbia's National Assembly may well be the finest and most photogenic building in Belgrade. Previously, this home to Yugoslavia's parliament and following that state's breakup, the Parliament of Serbia and Montenegro. Given its official purpose, access to this imposing Bollard's building is restricted, but you can inquire with Belgrade's tourist board about a tour, as these are organized every now and again. The rest of the time it's a landmark for a photo stop, either by day or illuminated at night. No surprise that this iconic monument is also the scene for Belgrade's New Year's Eve celebrations.